Okay, so at some point, what was what's happened with this restaurant thing? So, you can see the tweets. It's on academic shit and everything. They tweeted me, where you at? They came to Boston and got on Twitter again. Got on Twitter, bro, and say, where you at? W Y A with a with a question mark. The tweets there from eight oh eight. Flock on them account, all that. I said, these niggas is bold. I got money now. I got an army now. What? You yeah, motherfuckers is crazy. Yo, get the fucking cars. We are out. He got the fly on his shit. I took a picture of my location, dropped a pen, said where I was at in front of my crib, and said, I'm on my way. Went right to his show in Randolph, Massachusetts. He was Opening up and performing for a UFC boxer's birthday that was from Randolph, a small neighbor community outside of Boston. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker get killed there. He was there. I said, this nigga is, oh man. So I'm taking videos. I'm saying, I'm outside. Come outside. I ain't even going to do you like that. Come outside. We ain't even going to this club up because I might get a show here next week. So we ain't even going to this shit up. <laughs> This is my city. I can't make that shit out. Because when his ass leave, I got to stay here and deal with the shit I did when they broke bread with this nigga. So I got to let them and this USC boxer and the promoter from Boston say, don't you come in here and bother this nigga. So I got to sit outside the whole night and wait for him to come out. I can't come inside. In my own city, I can't go inside. Because they making money off his ass. So, pimping his ass. So... Long story short, they all come out. He squatted. They got like three Tahoes. Oh, I'm by myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm in a V by myself. My boys is all outside. You know, the exits, everything. But I'm inside the club parking lot by myself. So I was like, I'm not going to crash out here. It's still here. It's police here. It's Randolph police. It's security. You're going to jail, cartel. You know, just get ready to go back and do another five years or whatever you want to go do. You know what I'm saying? Leave that boy alone right here. Just follow him. It's your city. He has to go. He has to leave. Where's he going to go? He has to go to Boston. We're the littest city, the littest city in Massachusetts is the capital. He goes to Boston. So I'm following him. So I'm like, you know what? I ain't even going to do nothing. I wanted, to, I wanted to get out at the red light on him. Like, what's up? You, you still want your shit? Like, what's up? What are we doing? We squashing this? Y'all are Pit got people breaking into my house. Ain't nobody breaking into your house. I didn't break into your tour bus and steal your shit. And I'm going through all this because you called my phone. And I went there as a fan. I even have $100 in my pocket. I went there to support you. So it's fuck you. Like, it's, but it's not really like in that type of way, like I want beef with you. I ain't never wanted to beef with them. I be a liar. I'm from Boston. I got my own beef. They from my land. I don't want to be for nobody. I'm getting money. Right, right. So, so you're following him, and you follow him to a restaurant. He get out. Okay, and what happens? Him and his security and everybody get out. They go inside the restaurant. So I said, I right, just wait for him to get out. It's Chow Chow. It's Chinese buffet. Everybody goes there from the hood. Every the clubs, everything in Boston closes at two p two a.m. Everything. So the only thing after 2 a.m. is Chinese restaurants. So he goes in there. I'm waiting. I'm like, what is he in there, eating? He got his car is parked in front of the door like he owns the place. I can't even do that shit. It's a parking lot right on the side of it. Street parking. He got his cars on the curb in front of the door. Like he run this shit. If I do that, the police come and move. So I felt some type of way. I said, F that. I pulled up, put my shit right in front of this shit. <laughs> Jumped out, walked inside the restaurant, sat down right next to him. It's on camera. So what's up? What are we doing? We're here face to face. I'm tired of this shit. I just bailed out $10,000. I'm past my curfew. I'm not even supposed to be here right now. But you ask me where I'm at, I'm here. You keep with me like I'm not going to come. You call my phone looking for your shit, I got it. You wanted to see it, I showed it. You know what I'm saying? You tell me to pull up, I pull up. Why are you with me? You, you, you're trying to trick me out my spot. 
You're trying to make me crash out and lose my life. I would have did something crazier. I was by myself in security, probably would have blew my head off. They was in there gun the fuck up. You think he was out here with no guns? Got it, you know he was. I didn't give a What, you gonna kill me in front of all these people and you're a celebrity, a millionaire? You gonna blow my head off? You gonna blow a young black kid's head off in front of everybody in here? I'm a real street nigga. He ain't doing that. I might, but he ain't doing that. I know it. He got too much to lose. So you sit down next to him, and, and what do you say to him? What are we doing? Like, what's up? Like, this shit's stupid. Like, and he's like, man, hold up, hold up. And he calls Southside. And that's when he's standing with the phone. He's like this, yeah, look, and he got me on the phone. And he's like, oh, he's like, yo, Southside, the first thing you can hear in the video, kill that nigga, kill that nigga. And he started laughing. He's like, bro, we ain't him, all these people. So I stood up. I'm like, ah, right, fuck that. Everybody's looking at us now. I'm like, I got the attention. It's my show. Yeah. That video was somebody else. You see, man, I didn't even know that. They sent that to me on Twitter. They sent that video on Twitter of me talking to him, sitting next to him. I didn't even know anybody was recording it. And he's like, yo, this, this is you, right? And I'm like, oh, shit, because I'm popping in the city. So everybody know who I am. So they're like, yo, this is you, right? And I'm like, yeah. So they sent me the video, and I was like, like, yo, everybody asked Walker Flocker why the fuck I kicked him out the city. Because after the conversation started, when Walker Flock was on him, when I stood up, I told him, I was like, bro, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit no more. I'm here in front of you. I, you can hear it. I'm out on $10,000 bill right now. Pass my curfew. I ain't even supposed to be here, nigga. What are we doing? You ain't breaking bread? You ain't with me? You ain't gonna squash beef? Then get the fuck out the city then. I'm willing to squash beef, do anything for I even got your shit back for your producer. I'm in here with my producer right now. I'm in here with my producer. He produced my whole album. And he's producing my second album I'm dropping next month. I, we flew out. Your ticket cost nine, almost a thousand dollars. And my ticket cost four hundred. We were, we paid a thousand dollars to fly him out here to make me beats. Cause I'm in California and I need beats. You know what I'm saying? This shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, we gotta dead this shit. I, I, I wanna do music, bro. I, niggas ain't with me because I'm making a city hot beefing with you and shit. I'm on YouTube, academics and all types of shit. Funk Master Flex, Vlad, and everybody's talking about me and this on the third. So I'm like, I'm trying to really dead this shit. And then he just got up and he just like, like, raped me off. He's like, whatever, nigga. Kids, like that. Kids. And he left. And I'm just like, yo, this just left. They backed, they got in the car, put the cars in reverse because my car was in front of theirs and they drove off. They left. And it's something I didn't expect. So if I, t if I get crazy with you right now, if I get crazy with your camera man, I'll be like, yo, f that shit. I don't care about none of that shit. Get the f up out of here. And you'd be like, oh, whatever, bro. Whatever, kids. And you walk out of here with your head down, right? I kicked you out of here, right? I kicked your ass the up out of here. Get the fuck up out of here. Cam, I kicked your cameraman out. I told him to get the fuck out of here. He got out of here. He ain't say nothing. Walked over with his head down. You gonna be like, man, my cameraman's a punk, man. He's fire. That's what Flocka did. I didn't think that was gonna happen. I thought that was gonna. I wanted his ass to hit me. I wanted his ass to shoot me. I'll take a bullet. My brothers took 11 of them. I'll take a bullet, get famous, and get rich. What? Think of, what you think? You, they gonna shoot me and or beat my ass and I ain't gonna get paid? <laughs> Fucking crazy. I'm, I'm a real street, I'm a finesse. I'm trying to make it out. To, if I can slip and fall in a grocery store and literally get through them, I'm falling. I need it. I got bills to pay. Like I don't wanna be out here selling drugs no more. I don't wanna be out here doing this shit. Why you ain't helping me? Now he's a changed man. He want to help everybody and squash beef with everybody. Why the f*** you ain't squashing with me? You know what the f*** you put me through? What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.